Um, one of the things that I noticed was the seats in the front specifically were uh, not great. So I already took out the passenger seat and you can see what happens when there's old foam uh, on the bottom of the front seats. They it basically disintegrates. Um, this is not mice or nothing. This is just an old, old foam on You're the seat. Taking out the seats, it's very straightforward. You can uh, jack up your car if you want, get out some jack stands. If you have a lift, that's great too. Um, I'm just doing this really quick on the floor. Um, there's basically four um, studs that you will find, uh, and they're fairly obvious. Um, there's two towards the rocker panels, so the rocker panels are right here. Uh, there's two towards the rocker panels. Um, mine actually has the emergency brake cable coming across, which won't be that big a deal to get it off. And then there are another two uh, more interior, more towards uh, the middle of the car. Um, it is a half inch uh, stock, so um, the nut will just pop off with a quick half inch. I'm just going to use uh, a straightforward ratchet with the half inch socket and extension on it. Um, it's pretty pretty easy, pretty quick. Should this take a couple minutes? So when you get these nuts off, this is what they look like. Um, they have kind of this built in washer, and um, you can paint them. A lot of guys paint them uh, just so they kind of blend into the bottom of the car. Um, kind of clean them up a little bit. This just has a little surface rust on them. So I'll probably clean the threads a little bit and uh, before I put the seat back on uh, when it gets back from the interior shop. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward half inch uh, wrench or socket um, with um, I mean, a little extension. And sometimes if you have a wrench, a ratcheting wrench, it helps too, uh, especially if the exhaust is in the way or uh, like mine, had that emergency brake cable running across. So pretty straightforward. So now all you gotta do is uh, lift the seat out. I usually uh, fold the seat forward and it just pulls uh, straight out. You'll see it has um, some studs on the bottom of the seat here that actually poke through the floor. And then again, this is what happens uh, when the uh, foam is disintegrating uh, in the seat, you'll see it uh, is just kind of like all over the floor. So, time to get new seats. This is a closer look in the light uh, at the bottom of that seat. You can see this stuff is just so dried out and old um, that again, it's just falling apart literally. Um, I knew it was bad because when you sit in the seat, there's really not a lot of cushion um, like they're supposed to be. So, I'm just going to have them replace this, replace the burlap. Um, and the tracks and stuff are fine. I might clean these up a little bit before I put them back in the car. But the covers are really nice. Um, these covers are legendary. And uh, this little slit in them, it, uh, that's the stock uh, cover for 68. And of course, 68 did not have the headrest yet. Uh, that showed up in 69. <laughs> show you a little closer look as to what was done to the seats obviously it has new burlap sack in it um, but what he also did was he added a layer of jute which is this layer right here then he added a one inch thick um, black foam and then he added the the pink stuff on top of or on the bottom of that so it goes pink stuff then the one inch foam then the, the jute and then what he does is he um, shaves down the seat, the, all of that, the foam and stuff to fit actually the contour of the seat itself. So it's really a custom made um, fit, um, which is a little bit more pricey, but I think it's well worth it. Um, so we can now put these in the charger and um, have a much better ride and you can see one of the key things is when you do new carpet is to actually take a soldering um, gun or even a punch hole or something and mark a hole all the way through. Punch a hole in through the carpet. This does a couple of things. One is 
it's easier to get the seats in and out because you know exactly where they go. But the other one is um, it actually melts the carpet or kind of seals the carpet um, so it doesn't fray or come up in any way. So this was actually done correctly. Um, but if you're already replacing your carpet, you want to definitely do this. So when you go to put the seats in, um, you just slide in the studs. One thing you want to make sure of that I didn't mention was make sure the tracks on both ends, if you have your seats worked on, sometimes the tracks um, are not aligned. Um, so for mine, uh, the inside track was a little bit forward. So you just want to make sure both tracks are in. And then this one has a little tight clearance. It's actually right on top of the exhaust. So um, I just use um, a ratcheting wrench um, to get this in because uh, the socket and um, even a gun or nothing won't fit that. But all these other ones will just buzz on here really quick and then they'll be in. Very happy with them, very pleased with the way they turned out.